In this how-to cast, we talk about the DVD ripper, Rip It, for Mac OS X, which is a really simple, easy way to rip your DVDs. First, load up the program, and you'll see that it will want you to insert a disk. But before we do that, let's go ahead and check out some preferences. First thing you want to do is be able to create a folder where you want your DVDs to go. I've created the Rip It DVD backup folder. Next is that when the disk is inserted, you want it to start ripping. You want to keep that unchecked because you don't want it to start ripping before you can actually do some things beforehand. Next is when it rips, when the rip is completed, you want to go ahead and check mark the items you want to uh, have happen when it uh, is done ripping. Um, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, uncheck this box, which is the .dvd extension, media extension, which will uh, be a different type of uh, extension. Next you want to go ahead and uh, hit your appearances, what it's going to look like when it rips, and of course the network, which is information that's sent back to the Rip It DVD website for analysis. Go ahead and uh, click off the preferences, and then insert your DVD that you want to have ripped. Um, this takes just a few minutes depending on the speed and the uh, ability for your machine to read your actual DVD. Once it's inserted, the DVD will uh, pop into the screen and show the name of the actual DVD. In this case, we are ripping the uh, movie 61, which is uh, Rogers Maris breaking record-breaking home run season of 61 of Babe Ruth. Anyway, you want to go ahead and type in the, uh, the the name if you want to. If you want to change it to say you want to spell out 61 rather than just have the number 61, you can do that. That's why you don't want to have it start ripping before you actually insert the DVD. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and hit rip. And now this DVD is 7.2 gigabytes, which will take a little while for it to rip. And once it starts ripping, it'll show the percentage complete, and then it'll actually give a time remaining, which in this case is about 55 minutes. Once completed, the DVD is ripped to your folder. You can open it up and you can view the video files. And it's as easy as and simple as that. Once again, that's Rip It DVD.